RTD is proposing cutting back on service along its new R line. Now, this line goes 22 miles from Lincoln Avenue and Lone Tree all the way through Aurora to Peoria near Smith Road. Now, this cut would do away with service to the south half that stretches on how stretch, excuse me, on weekends and even weekday off peak hours. Our Melissa Garcia live at the Iowa station tonight to explain. Melissa. RTD officials say not enough people are using this line to make it worth the cost. However, City of Aurora officials argue it is going to take a little bit more time to build up full ridership on the line that it has worked very hard to open. It was a cold day in February when Aurora celebrated the grand opening of the R Line. The 22 mile route from Lone Tree to North Aurora was years in the making. Now, less than seven months into its operation, the line linking Colorado's third largest city to its neighbors may soon see a major setback. RTD is proposing service on the line's south stretch starting at Iliff, run only on its busiest hours during the week. It would be really disappointing. Commuters like Mustafa Karim would have to find another option. I got to leave home at 12 and be there by 2 p.m. So I got to take the R line to get actually to my school. If there is no R line, I'm going to have to drive there. And I don't have a car, so I can't really do that right now. It is unacceptable. Aurora Mayor Steve Hogan is strongly opposed to limiting the route. He says more than a thousand homes under construction and another 2,500 in the works are depending on the R line's full schedule. Oh, service has been cut back. That's not a good message. RTD spokesman Nate Curry says the line isn't keeping up with transit performance standards. On average, the A line boards 200 people per hour. The C and D line about 160. The R line boards 38 per hour. We look at it from a holistic regional perspective, and, and if people aren't riding it, we're spending a lot of money uh, on it to where we could be actually going to places where we see people need to go. The cutback would save RTD more than 15,000 hours of operating costs, which translates to close to $3 million every year. However, a decision has not been made yet. They say this is not set in stone, and the transit company will hold a public comment session where people are invited to come and share their opinions. That's coming up later this month on September 21st at 6 o'clock at the Aurora Municipal Building. And then next month, the RTD board will make a final decision. Live in Aurora Melissa Garcia covering Colorado First.